Hey, everybody. Hope all is well. So let's go ahead and get to it. You can see by the title, an older white man tells a younger white man not to date black women. Interesting. So here's the deal. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Um, basically, the younger white male, and I know both parties, um, he started dating a black woman. At this point, they've been dating, I think, close to a year. Okay. Uh, from what I understand, exclusive. And so now he's like, hey, you know, this is my the black woman happy lover da, 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 da. so there was a dinner party and so he told the older one and their relationship uh is basically through i believe family like a uh, the older one was a business partner to a family member okay and uh he's done quite well for himself i will say financially based on the house so anyway the younger one is saying how he's met a black woman. They've been they're in a relationship. He's happy. He's in love with her, and you know he's gonna bring her, and he really wants you to meet. So the older one, who's also married, uh, he's Caucasian, and his wife is is Caucasian. Uh, his wife is actually younger. Yeah, maybe like twenty years younger. So he's like, oh, I never know you to date a black woman. Why you want, Why do you want to date a black woman? And it's like, hey, you know what? I like black women. You know, I like, and it was like, this one here is her personality. You know, she's a little sassy. She's fun, yada, 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 yada. So he goes into detail as to why he's in love with this woman. And he's like, you know what? They, they're, they're loyal to their men. And in my opinion, black women are loyal to their men. And I mean the men in the community to a fault. So loyal to your own detriment, but that's okay that's another video so the older one is like yeah you know man uh he was saying things like let me get it make sure i get it right saying things like he didn't know if it's a good idea and his other concern was um oh yeah would it be good for business hmm i keep telling you life is business so he's like I don't think it's a good idea, man. Would it be good for business? You know, if they're meeting her, you may lose business contacts. And so obviously she's a businesswoman too. So that right there, it's like, no, 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 no. You know, I've already, she's already um, went to dinner with me a few times and met some associates. You know, everybody seems to like the, the lady. Okay, and that's great. So he goes on with the relationship. And as we're keeping in touch... Keep in mind, the older one, the relationship is due to business with a family member. So as they're keeping in touch and all that, the personal relationship comes up again. And I guess it's kind of like inquiring, like, hey, what's it going? How's it going? I wouldn't advise it. So she came to the dinner and they met. And he was still stuck on, even though she's professional, not second like lady, yada, 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 still stuck on not to date a black woman. So he's like asking him, so man, you matter, what's the hang up? She's a likable person. What's the hang up with, you know, what is it? Oh, but she's a black woman. You know what they say? So here he is. You up her hanging on to some old darn stereotype. Th that's what he's basically doing. And she fits none of those. She's not loud, obnoxious, you know, always in your face. Cut it out because you got hood trash, too, in the white community. You got white trash all day long, and white trash is very loud, just like the hood rat. Let me tell you something. White trash, they sure don't believe in fighting. Be a fight every Saturday night. So let's, uh, hood people and poor white trash people, they have a lot in common. They always try to turn off somebody's dream, just like a hater. They don't think small-minded people. A lot of them are like that. We just say hood rat, white folks got trailer park trash. And when you have people who are at the bottom, especially mentally, they're, they're all think the same thing. They're just di different colors, different shapes and sizes, different regions, okay? So, fast forward. 
the younger one, him and his relationship with the black woman, uh, it's still going. They seem pretty happy. Uh, and nothing surprising. He says a lot of his friends have asked him that question and they've met her. And then they're like, oh, my gosh, you know, things is, you know, everybody seems to get along pretty well. But the old one is still saying not to date a black woman. I just went advising. Oh, you just never know, man. You just never know. Let's go ahead and fast forward. So uh, he's married to um, a younger woman, Becky. Uh, this is not her her real name. Uh, she's tall, slender, nice looking chick. Yeah, she's she's nice looking, and you know she uh kind of perky. You know, uh, n- nice personality, a people person. So I'm kind of you know kinda, I'm like wow, he's really asking about that guy's relationship. And he's met her. And what's the what, what's the what's the issue? Everybody seems to be getting along, but he's still hollering. He just see her as a color of black. And basically, I really don't care. But it's like he's the one making a big deal. You keep on asking. We sitting up here. This was let's see. They're still together. So it's now let's say maybe about two two and a half years. They're together. Everybody knows it, and you're still, the older white dude is still asking all these, you know, what's going on with it? What makes you track it to her? I'm like, haven't they gone over this before, but, you know, whatever, neither here nor there. Fast forward, unfortunately for the older white dude, his wife becomes ill. And don't forget, she's 20 years younger. Uh, the chicks seem to stay fit, uh, tall, slender, thin, uh, you know, she seems to really be conscious of her weight and things like that. But that means nothing. Unfortunately, she did succumb to her injuries. To her sickness, rather. She did. You know, and I was thinking, from what I gather, when she met him, she was the other woman. Um, he was still married to his first wife. Then he met her. They have... They have no children together, okay? Had an affair for years. First wife finds out, gets upset, and files for divorce. So that's how he then met the second wife. Now, by her being 20 years younger, and you would think, and my thinking was to be totally honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I was like, well, she likes him, but also a 20-year age difference. Oh, she's counting on the money because he is a businessman, all right? Like I said, he's done quite well for himself. I'm like, yep, old girl is probably counting on the money. And when he gets older, old, 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 uh, or if he expires before she does, she'll be set. Again, life is business. Hey, you know. So, she expires. Um, they just couldn't save her. She she did have a, t- a, a terminal illness. So, at this time... He's begging everybody, anybody and everybody. I don't know what, what, uh, who, who you are, color your skin. He's begging everybody, let them know, hey, here's what's happening. All of a sudden, he want a prayer warrior, and he don't care what shape, size, or color it is. Everybody pray. Try to, you know, if you can get a connection through, we sure need one. But again, she succumbed to her, um, her, her illness. So you never know. There's a joke that said, "Wow, you want to make the." A supreme being, you want to make God laugh, make plans. So I kind of figured, in my opinion, you know, what her little plan was with your boy because she's older. And typically, women outlive men. Uh, a sickness came to her, and she succumbed first. When she died, uh, and I don't know how all the pensions work, but they're saying, uh, I think he got her pension or whatever, a part of her pension. Okay. And she never did. Uh, I'm not sure if she even had retired yet, unless she retired young. I don't think she retired. So he got her pension. And I think she had, you know, I guess whatever the 401k, whatever the deal was. So he did receive that on top of that, on top of that. She also had a life insurance policy. The life insurance policy paid out $700,000. So he got the house, pension 401k, 
and they got the life insurance policy that that, that she that uh, they both have policies on each other. You know, that's what people that are responsible do. So if one of them leaves, you're not sitting up there going, and if you can go to the GoFundMe link and click on that button, I sure always going to appreciate it, okay? <laughs> no. Be responsible for you, please. The people that you that you love. If you a baby daddy, if you a man with any kind of children and you don't have a life insurance policy, you really you you have some inferior thinking to do. I don't know what the hell you sitting up for getting somebody pregnant for. Ladies, if you got a baby daddy and there's no life insurance policy, which I know is quite common in the BC, guess what? Something's wrong. But that's another video. So anyway, uh, she expires, got the house, and he's got some assets. I said, well, pretty much, you know, he was already had money. So definitely well over a million dollars, you know. He sells a house and he moves into a, um, not a, you know, no, actually, when yeah, he wouldn't got an apartment, you know, it was like a high rise, very not nice apartment. Okay. And that house, you know, it's very large upstairs, downstairs. It's like, you can hear yourself echo. Like really one person, you don't need four and a half bad, four bedrooms, three and a half baths, a three car garage and all, and all that. And, and of course, like I said, he's older. So. He sold the house, got some money. He then moved into a very luxurious apartment building. Okay. Keep in mind, he was telling a younger man, not today, black women. I just want to advise, just want to advise. And I just told you, I was like, why is he asking questions? I mean, you know, why are you all up in it? You met the girl and you keep saying, don't date black women. I was like, he sure isn't crying about that person's personal life. So I was like, that's interesting. You already made your stance. You're an older white man. Kind of have an idea of what you think. Go on with your life. But you're all up in this young man's business about this black woman. What do you think about her? What makes you decide to date her? So what do y'all normally do? What the hell do you think they do? What does everybody else do? Live their life. That's what they do. That's what they do. You all up in it. All up in the Kool-Aid. You already seen the flavor. So after the um, after he they had the funeral, um, he's already sold the house, and now he's moving to a very upscale uh, apartment uh, building. Now, he had all that money, and he was already retired when she died, okay? He was already retired. But don't forget, he had sold a house, he got her pension, 401k, and he got this $700,000 life insurance policy. Oh, Pops is, is set up pretty good, okay? Just enjoy your life. He goes on a cruise. Then he sent some pictures. Oh, hell no! Uh-uh. This is the part that got me. I had to sit up in my seat. Word getting out. Do y'all? Well, who is this? this? This somebody that just been a friend on a cruise? How come? How come he is booed up with a black woman? And this one right here, she's like thirty years younger. I'm. I'm like, oh hell to the no. Uh uh. No no. So I'm like, I have to confirm. I have got to confirm, because I know you're playing with me. This is his girlfriend, not just a friend or an associate business, some maybe a business partner's daughter. It's his woman. So word gets out, y'all. He are, oh, and here's now. And one part I found interesting is that it hadn't. I think it'd been like three or four months. Since his wife had died, and they've been together for a long time, like 20 years, maybe. So I was like, wow, so he already booed up three or four months later. He's already been on a trip and everything, got pictures. Next thing you know, old girl got a hell of a rock on her hand. Something is not right. How the heck you go from don't date black women? Not because he met a woman that happens to be black and he doesn't like for whatever, got a, a unhappy attitude. His thing was just don't date black women. 
all these questions about somebody else's personal life. What do y'all do? What do you think they do? I, I, and I said, that's kind of crazy. So now the wife has died. He sold a house. And then he's uh, moved into that nice up apartment. And as I understand, she also um, lives in that same apartment complex. And uh, she's educated. Um, she has a real nice job. You know, she's a six-figure earner, no kids, yada, yada, yada. She's doing well for herself. Now, I have heard about him. He'll spend money on cars and things like that. But sometimes he can be a little miser. All of a sudden, and I guess to impress the new chick, the new black woman, oh my goodness, y'all, he got money just chilling out hands or hand over a hand over fist. I said, Well, I said, Well, I said, he got seven hundred thousand dollars in life insurance alone, plus he does ha he does have some income now. So you know, he's gonna be fine. I said, let him live his life. I, I was just surprised that he was with the black woman because he was like, you know, so anti black woman from the jump. She got a ring. I can believe this. Now we're hearing about a marriage. I said, this is happening way too fast. And I'm not understanding how the hell from he goes to anti-black woman to you in love with a black woman and you get married. So everybody's hearing about it. I said, oh, okay. And he's moving here. Um. They're going to do this and blah, 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 blah. So as relationships, you know, it's easy. It's fun when all the hoopla happens. And then, you know, sometimes you settle down from all the going out and you have, she has her career. So she can't just be gone all the time. Um, so things kind of start taking up a little bit and they start having some relationship issues. And I just said, it's growing pain. So you already know what he does. He calls the one, the younger white male that he was like, oh, I wouldn't date no black women. Oh, yeah. I made her mad. Does your woman get angry like that? Everybody's different. Some people are quick to let you have it. And some are just more docile. Okay, keep it moving. Because, oh, yeah, I made her mad. Da -da 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 -da. So, I have not heard of him being sometimes a little on the miser side in some things. So, you know, he's not, um, he'll come back on some things. Like, you know, I I've heard about, about that. From what his previous wife wanted to do, and it's like, no, 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 not gonna do that. But he been shelling out on Sister Girl, on the black woman. So now he's trying to get serious and you know, kind of pull the ring in. So in the courting season, you know, he playing big, you know, um, big daddy bucks. Mm hmm. You know, he, he got them dollars like that. So now, you know, she's getting, they're getting married, looking at making plans, and she's also one of those black, one of those women who's used to obviously getting her way okay he's like oh if she don't get her way you know uh sometimes she gets a little pissy da, 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 da. so so what you know come on you're a man deal with it you're not a walk in the park yourself let's be real people are people so you look up and i was like oh i said don't you find it strange that he, he was telling so and so not to date black women even after meeting her, that was his stance. Don't date black women. So I took it as, you know, he's just um, don't like women, black people, or black women. That's what I took that as. I said, now all of a sudden, Vicky's dead. And now he got a black woman traveling, going on cruises. He done popped the question, got a ring, and he's handing money, hand over fist. Now we're trying to reel back in because they're going to get a house and yada, 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 yada. I said, and I said, plus she makes her own money. So I said, don't you find that a little strange? I said, so I am going to, all I can conclude is this. And he was like, I haven't been this happy in a long time, in a long time. Well, of course she's younger, you know, that, that may be a part of it. Nice looking shit. I haven't been this happy in a long time. And, you know, da, 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 da. So, and I thought about it and I said, I think I figured it out. Maybe he had some preconceived notion about being with a black woman, okay? A preconceived notion about being with a black woman. But then I thought about it, because some people were saying, which I don't know, some were saying that, yo, some of them were saying that he was, quote, tipping out. I don't know that, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying what I've heard. Because it was, it was like, wow, all of a sudden, three or four months, and 
you know, you got, I understand they sold a house and moved. You got to a whole new setup and a whole new chick on the scene. So some people were saying, hey, he been, he, he been known to be a cheat. This, uh-uh. He, and I was like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, she, I'm like, she think he just died, you know, a few months ago. So some were saying he's known to be a womanizer and, you know, wouldn't be surprised. So anyway, and I thought about it and I said, all I can deduce is two things. If what they're saying is true about him possibly knowing the girl before, which I don't know, either A, he been dipping and he been dipping around and likes the little chicks dipped in brown. And maybe you were saying those things, trying to get that out there to dispel it. You understand what I'm saying? So you're you're doing something totally different. But you tell the other folks, oh, I don't let no black woman, but let no black woman. So that made me think, maybe it's possible he could have known that girl further because it's like he stole that house and boom, boom, we were four months, got a whole new place, already got that money, the life insurance, got all that rolling, and now he's already booed up and boom, boom, boom. How the heck are we at six months and you already getting married, engaged? So it does make me think, maybe that's a possibility. And when he was at, or it could be also, he met her. And when he was asking all those questions, like, you know, what what do you see in a black woman? What do y'all do? It makes me think also, sometimes people try to be real, try to be real clever. And they might be a little curious. So I'm also thinking that about him. He might be a little he may have been curious all along, wanting to try some some uh, a different dating experience, and sitting up here trying to fake the funk, like, oh no, I won't let no black woman. I just want to find it. It may not be bad for business. So my thinking is, then how did you end up with one? How did you end up with with a black woman? And you you know you had these preconceived notions. So it made me think. You look at people. People say one thing and they will do the total opposite. You might think you know them. Do you really? Because this here, this just threw me for a total loop. I'm like, there's just no way. There is no way. So I thought about it. I said, maybe he was just faking it all along, trying to put that narrative out there, knowing all along that was his heart's desire. But how do you go from you going to tell a young white man, oh, I don't date no black woman. Uh-uh, I, I wouldn't know black woman, you, you know how they are. And then your wife dies, and you end up with one, and you out there making it rain. More than likely, with life insurance money. How did it end? So to get in, I guess you start paying big uh, big daddy dollars. Fast forward, uh, they were engaged. And I guess they were looking at a house. And I guess from what I understand, I'm only hearing from his side, okay? Uh, She was not getting things her way. And he was saying, oh, some some issue about money came up. Money came up. And he was like, oh, she, you know, this right here, I've already spent over $150 on this girl, $150,000. And we got to watch our money for retirement. And I want to make sure I can keep, you know, we can keep this a certain lifestyle going. And when she doesn't get her way, she gets mad. So fast forward, what he's saying is basically there was an issue about money and that I think the girl just called, she just called it off. And they they were no longer engaged, and she went her separate ways. Um, they resided in the same apartment community, so he ended up just leaving. And it's a very large. I mean, it's like, come on, you know, you know, just come on. So he ended up just leaving, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm just basically, I'm just done. I'm just done. Uh, you know, I'm not dating anybody else, and I'm going to go ahead and move closer to my children. And, you know, the last report I heard about him um, sounded uh, sounded kind of sad. 
But I wanted to bring this up and let you know because you think about it. I really believe when he was like saying this first, you know, saying not to black women, I believe that he really had a disdain for black women, which I do not care. And Hill ain't my man, you know, and I don't deal, deal, deal with the man in business. Hell no. He's old enough to be my father. But yeah, I, I was like, wow. So then I thought about it, looking at the time frame and how he ended up with a black woman. Note to self. People say a lot of things when someone's always interested in something or you asking questions, that lets me think, read between the lines. Why does that concern you? So I think he was either A, trying to do a cover, and he could have been, you know, uh, messing around while he was still married, or B, did you want to date a black woman all along and maybe you were just too scared? Is that what it is? and worried about what other people may think and then you start seeing a younger person doing their thing and being happy then you decide to do it too see i thought about it, i was like wow if she were alive and if someone had told her oh vicky girl guess what he's dating a black woman she probably would not have believed it. Oh, no, 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 nah, no, nah, I, I don't believe that. There is no way. No, I know how it, he is. We're married. We've been together. I don't know. We've been married for so many years. He would never, never do that. And the fact that he did do that and had a relationship, you know, he caught trying to play big daddy daughters over there with the girl and it didn't work out. And she went on. I thought about that. What if, if she, I mean, if, if someone would have told her that, she would have never believed it. So case in point, to me, that's kind of scary. And what I mean, not so much about the relationship, it's the fact that you might think, you think you know someone married over 20 years. You think, I think 25 years, you think that you know someone and come to find out you don't. You think you know someone, their stance on things, unless you know sometimes you know you only we only know what the person projects to us and to the world. But do you really know them? So that there, it was beyond as far as like the black woman issue. To me, it was the fact that wow, all this time you live by this so-called narrative, and this is what you're putting out. But in actuality, you are doing the exact opposite. And you are prospending. You kind of pull the reins in, run the show with the money. And I think so, too, with that black woman. That may have been it. You know, she's independent, and then he wants to run the show. That, that might have been, you know, that, that may have pay, played a factor. But they are not together, and it didn't work out. And last I heard, uh, I heard about him uh, last month. You know, he just pretty much... Uh, um, sold everything and moved back to where his children are okay that, that they're grown from the first marriage okay from the first marriage but my thing was it, it was beyond like a uh, the black woman issue it was the fact that he came with this test with this narrative with his his belief on things and then obviously either you're living a lie or just lying but it makes you think do you really and truly know a person if she was still here and she would never believe that he was, you know, that hooked up with a black woman. Here she is deceased. Our insurance policy of $700,000. And he's after smithing it, going on cruises, taking trips. Oh, I got to buy this sister here. I got to buy her another little beans for a little weekend car when she gets away with her friends. Oh, he's paying for, them, for the girls. She and her friends are close friends. Uh, to go for a winery, he's paying for all that. I said she probably would have never have believed that he, that he would have done that. And of course, he is choosing, which is rightfully so. You know, the, the, the money is his, the money from her life insurance. So it makes you think. In a broader perspective, people say one thing, and they may, they may project to you one thing, but in reality, it could be something totally different. So sometimes we think we know. The people that we're involved with, that we live with, that we love or married to and relationships with. And sometimes you may look up and find out that guess what? Maybe we don't know them the way that we think we do. And that to me is a little, you know, a little puzzling or just a little interesting. 
But let me know, know what you guys think. You know, besides the, the dating issue, it was a fact that you're putting this out here and doing something totally different. If his wife, Vicky, could come back from the dead, woo, woo, I think she would just be probably just livid and just shocked. And it makes me wonder, for the older one, were you living a lie? Maybe this whole thing that, that just happened. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. But I just thought it was like, I was really shocked. I mean, I can see him dating. But I was like, why are you? He's in the black woman. I was really shocked. Not going to lie. I was, I'm like, that's just it just can't be. And then I thought, too, maybe it's a biracial woman. But, you know, she may look mainly, uh, maybe it's a biracial woman. And with the one drop or whatever, whoever came up with that, he's like, well, she's black. No. And the girl that I saw, she was um, a dark brown skinned girl. So it wasn't, there's no ambiguity here. There's no biracial ambiguity here. But brown skinned girl. So yeah, so want to show that with you guys. But I really thought that was interesting. I was like, man, saying one thing. So it just shows you, you know, do we really know the people that we think we know? I don't know, bro. Anyway, thanks for listening to my video here on the Simply Said channel on YouTube. Let me know what you guys think. I got to go and I'm out and I hope you enjoy your Monday.